Hey guys, Dr. Kirky with Premier Chiropractic, and today we're going to talk about how you can get rid of some of those knots and trigger points in muscles with a lacrosse ball. One of my favorite tools to give patients, and it can be used in a variety of different areas of the body, which is where kind of the, the awesomeness of this thing comes from. So first, I'm going to show you how to loosen up the ones in your neck, your traps, and then kind of your mid-back. Okay, so I'm at home right now and I'm gonna show you how you can use this at home and at work. So the first way to kind of loosen up the muscles that get tight right at the base of your neck is to use the ball against the wall like this. First step is gonna to be to tuck your chin and then you try to hold a little pressure on there with your hands. From there, you can glide from side to side, rotating your head, keeping the ball right at the base of your neck. And it feels actually super good when you did that. Um, you can also do some active range of motion up and down. So you just squat up and down, getting those cervical paraspinal muscles, upper trap, levator scapulae, kind of the ones that get tight right in the middle of that neck. And then the second one I'll show you here is called your upper trap muscles, which I'm sure the people that sit a lot during the day and everything, we are constantly in this position. So these muscles get really, really tight. One way we can loosen that up is if you have a corner of a wall, you put the ball here, put that trap against the wall, and then you just massage that thing out. So another way you can do this is I put it on this side is you can actually do some self myofascial release which we do a lot of in clinic myofascial release with my hand, but we can also do it ourselves. So we can pin kind of that tight area of the muscle and then you can take it through an active range of motion and you get not only the muscle loosening up, you also get a little increased range of motion after that as well. Okay, so when we're trying to get in between the shoulder blades, we'll put it, the ball right in between, if I'm doing the left side first, in between the shoulder blade and the spine. So it goes right in that area. From there, you're gonna bring this arm across. So if I'm on the left side of the spine, I bring my left arm across. That's gonna get your shoulder blade out of the way, allow you to access those muscles a little better. From there, squat up and down, loosening up those muscles just like that, okay? And that one, again, is gonna feel really good because we're constantly in this position during the day. Now, the best way to combat this combined with loosening things up is to do some corrective exercise after. So if you're sitting a lot during the day, come up against the wall, tuck your chin, tuck those shoulder blades back and down, hold your hands there and do a little reset. Cause you got the range of motion back. You got the muscles loosened up. Now you need to teach your brain how to stay in proper posture. So this is one way you can combat those negative effects of sitting and having to do that computer work all day. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments section below. If not, see you next time.